Welcome back. We're here looking at the in the season. This is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, November 1st, 2022. If you like to support the channel, we're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. And of course, this is for educational purposes only. And please do your due diligence before uh, acting in the markets. So let's start by looking at the Nasdaq. And as you can see, we have fallen quite a bit today. We are down roughly here at 1% in the Nasdaq, but we have rallied quite significantly at the end of the US session. We had this massive rally on Friday of roughly 4%, broke down in the beginning of the session, and then we fell even further. At this current stage, it looks like we're just going to see more of the same. We may see a few days of negativity falling back towards the 20 simple moving average, breaking below here. Well, then we could go back towards the very lows. But we are just technically just doing the same. If you look at the market um, in general, we have had these two massive rallies in 2022, and we have had minor rallies uh, in general. So if you if you look in this perspective, we have this major rally here back in, this was basically March, and then we broke down quite significantly, rallied up towards the 50 minute week average, and then had a second rally here in the middle of the summer, uh, up towards the 200 moving average broke down even more significantly and now we're testing the 50 moving average yet again so whether or not we will see something similar to this or breakdown or we have another shot at the 200 moving average and that is to be seen we need to break above the 50 moving average here in order to go towards the 200 moving average which is at 12,693 at this current stage if we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is a bullish stochastic candle. It's bullish and bullish at this point, but it's turning around. As the, and the RSI is basically bearish at this current stage as well. So in the middle of things, it can go to the upside. It also can drop to the downside. To the downside, the very lows here are roughly 10.3k. And to the upside, 50 moving average should be a, a significant barrier. And then, of course, the 200 moving average. If we look at Fibonacci retracements for the NASDAQ, we can see that we have the 38.2 here at the 11.6K, 50 at the 12.1K, and then 61.8 at the 12.4K. So 50, 200 moving average will most likely travel in, in this direction. And will if we were to go up towards the 200 moving average, that is probably where we will find also the 61.8. So these will most likely be a significant barrier in order to get through. But it's not until Fed basically changes its monetary policy that we will see these kind of rallies again. Of course, you will have uh, bear market rallies, but in general, markets will not be in any mood of turning around uh, until basically the Fed turns around and that comes down to inflation uh, basically so at this current stage we could drop from here we could also rally up towards the 200 moving average but that's probably as far as we will go so let's look at the S&P 500 it's even more bullish than the Nasdaq but in general also here we have had two major rallies up towards uh, above the 200 moving average towards the 50 moving average and yet again 200 moving average and now we are basically above the 50 moving average so this looks more like we are heading towards the 200 moving average up here at the 4054 if we look at technical indicators we're going to see the macd is bullish stochastic is also bullish and rsi is bearish at this current stage the dropping below uh, the candlestick today then we may head towards the 50 moving average down here at the 3832 and that may offer quite some support for below that below that and then we have the 20 simple down here at the 3.7 and then all the way to the very bottom so it's going to say it looks like we are having a fairly nice rally up towards and as we are above the 50 moving average that should be um, taken as a positive sign even though we are still in a, a bear market if you look at Fibonacci retracements here, we can see that we have we are just about 
to test the 50 Fibonacci retracement at 3950. 61.8 is up here at 4000. That should also be a, a just a psychological barrier. Um, and 200 moving average will most likely travel in this direction. And we will hit both the 200 and the 50, 61.8 Fibonacci retracement if this continues. So should drop from there. But breaking above there, that is a very bullish sign indeed. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones has had an amazing rally uh, all the way from the bottom here at the 28.5K. We're trading just above the 200 moving average. And if this is basically the lead of the market, then this is a really, really good sign um, indeed. But if we look at the Dow Jones, we have also here rallied up towards the 50 rallied above the 50 and 200 and then we broke down quite significantly rallied back towards the 50 and then broke above the 200 rallied to the 50 and now breaking above the 200 yet again if we manage to sustain this and break above for example uh, 34.3k then we may see this go significantly higher but if we get an exhaustion candlestick then that could be a sign that this is ready to tumble back towards uh, the very lows and probably even lower go one step further down and yes that is should not be a very good sign um, so if we break below the 200 moving average then watch out below because this could really tumble to the downside MACD is still bullish stochastic is bullish and the rsi is turning around here it was significantly overbought so it may also be that we will pull back towards the 200 moving average and then rally from there. So let's look at the European market. This is the DAX. We have DAX here. So, so DAX, DAX is, is showing signs of weakness. Also here we have had a really nice rally from the bottom of roughly 11.8K, trading at 13.2K at this current stage. And we are fairly off from the 200 moving average. But in most of these cases, when we have seen the DAX rally, we saw it here, then we break significantly down, but we don't even get close to the 200 moving average and so on. So this could just be a continuation of this move to the downside. As the forecast for the European markets are absolutely terrible at this current stage. But we'll see how Europe uh, handles the winter, which uh, which is going to be the uh, big struggle for European economies, whether or not they have energy enough in order to have their industries basically running. So looking at this, this still looks really bearish and we are basically approaching the very top of uh, this rally. So if you have a crossing here with the MACD, also crossing off the stochastic and RSI uh, pulling back, then we, we may see this market tumble back towards the very lows of roughly 11.8K. Breaking above the 200 moving average, well, that should be a fairly bear a bullish shine, but at this current stage, uh, not very helpful, hopeful for that. If you look at the Nikkei, it is kind of doing the same thing that it has been doing uh, for for most of 2022. And that is that we have a high here of uh, roughly 29K. So give or take in this range. And we have the lows down here at roughly 25.6K. So there is, of course, this exception here. This is basically the war in Ukraine that, that broke out, but it has been fairly within this range for most of 2022. So at this current stage, we're basically right in the middle and we may see this rally up towards the very highs. We also may see this break towards the lows. Um, that is basically how this has been behaving. So at this current stage, not really interested of basically getting into this market. It would be interesting when we, if we get towards 29.2K or roughly 29, and we started breaking down, that should be a fairly good selling uh, selling position. Or if we basically break towards the lows here of 25, and then we start rallying, that is a fairly good buying position. But as we are basically in the middle, it is more a risk um, that I'm not willing to take. So if you look at the MACD, it's still bullish, stochastic is bullish, and RSI is bullish. So momentum at this current stage is to the upside. 
So let's look at the VIX. VIX has been dropped by the rock for quite some, quite some time now. Hit the highs here um, of roughly 33.3. Uh, and we have also seen the VIX been trading in within this range for quite some time now. If you just look at this, we can see that the very lowest of the VIX is roughly 20 and the very highest of 33. So at this current stage, it looks like we're on our way back towards 20. And if that is the case, then we may see uh, a continuation of, uh, of basically a rally uh, throughout uh, most of November. And that should be, uh, I need to write that back. So we may see this pull back towards the 20 uh, range before rallying yet again. Breaking below here, then that is a really good uh, bullish sign for, for the markets. But at this current stage, this looks how it's basically moving above. If you look at the MACD, it's still uh, bearish. Stochastic is also bearish, and the RSI is also bearish, bearish on the edge of being um, of oversold. So we may see a minor rally up towards the 50 before continuing lower. But going forward, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw something that's similar to this. So going into roughly November, mostly most of December probably as well, because you usually have a December rally. That could be a, a very bullish um, rally indeed. But going into um, roughly end of December and towards uh, 2023, uh, we probably see a, a continuation of the sell-off. So let's look at the 10 year. Contend year is continuing to rally, and that is basically expectations that the Fed will continue its uh, monetary policy of basically increasing interest rates. So, 20 simple moving average has offered support. You can see we tested it twice, and now we're probably going to rally even further up towards the four. But this market has gone fairly parabolical, and at some point, it will basically break. If you look at, at the weekly for for this market, you can see just how parabolical this has become. And uh, and that basically means that at some point we'll have an, another breakdown similar to this or similar to this. So so uh, expectations for Fed's uh, increase in interest rates is basically fueling this. Uh, but when that goes away, we will have a massive um, turnaround in this market and most of these stocks will rally significantly. But if you look at the daily yet again, you can see the MACD is still bearish, stochastic is bullish and RSI is bullish. And so going forward, we're still in a nice rally where the 20 is acting as significant support. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our news videos and good luck.